Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back on Wednesday, the 15th, I posted a video that Microsoft said something big was coming Thursday, the next day on the 16th, which was a post over on X with Microsoft saying, and I'm quoting, your hands are about to get some PTO, time to rest those fingers, something big is coming Thursday, quote unquote. And I asked you guys in that video, what do you think? And I saw some interesting comments and there was speculation that Microsoft was going to announce Windows 12 or, or another version of the OS. And a lot of the comments were just talking about AI bloat and AI slop and so on and so forth. Now, my reason for getting back to you guys so late, because I found out yesterday what this big thing Microsoft was going to announce was all about is because I just couldn't post a video on it because to some degree or the other, I have already posted a video where the big thing is, is that Microsoft was rolling out Copilot's voice and vision to all PCs. And I posted on the Hey Copilot voice command at the end of August. So if we open up Copilot, so that's why I didn't post. It was kind of a little bit of a disappointment that the big thing was that was that Hey Copilot and Copilot Vision were rolling out to all PCs and not just Copilot plus PCs. So if we head into our settings, quick recap. Yeah, you've got your Hey Copilot to start a conversation. I've turned it off because it was actually starting to just enable itself and activate itself when I would be talking with other videos and it was becoming a bit of an annoyance. So I just turned it off. But go check the video out. I'll leave it linked down below and in the end screen. So that was the big announcement. So that's the first part, Hey Copilot. And then the other half of it was that Microsoft said it's now rolling out Copilot Vision. to all PCs. And I really wasn't actually disappointed. I was a little bit more, what was that all about? Without trying to be too negative, I'm, I'm trying not to make this negative. Because to some extent or the other, those features were available and Microsoft has been talking about hands-free and OS and agentic OS as I've been posting a 2030 vision and so on. So for me, it was a little bit like, okay, so what was that all about, as mentioned? Basically, what this means at the end of the day is Microsoft is making every PC an ARPC with the new Hey Copilot voice command and Copilot vision, which for some maybe are moving in the right direction, for others not so much and could cause a bit of debate in certain circles. Now, with all that said and done, with, for want of a better word, a little bit of disappointment on behalf of what I was actually expecting the announcement to be, was Microsoft is now adding Ask Copilot, or Copilot has been introduced into Windows 11's taskbar. So you're basically getting built-in Copilot in your taskbar. And if we head to some images from a video snippet from that announcement, Microsoft has this to say, and I'm quoting. With the new Ask Copilot on the taskbar, Copilot becomes a natural part of how you use your PC, ready to help, guard, and collaborate the moment you need it. Our vision is simple yet bold. To make the taskbar a dynamic hub that helps you accomplish more with less effort, transforming everyday interactions into moments of productivity and delight. This opt-in experience, so it's going to be opt-in, so this was probably going to be a setting in the actual settings app of Windows 11, which I think at least is a good move. We're going to have the option to be able to use this or not. So it's going to be opt-in. And Microsoft says it will provide a one-click access to Copilot Vision and Voice, enabling more natural engagement in your flow. With utility across voice, text, and guided support with Copilot Vision, you can engage Copilot on your terms in the way that works best for you. So this was Microsoft's big announcement. 
Hey, Copilot, Copilot Vision, and Copilot basically directly built into the taskbar, which thankfully is opt-in. So basically, it's going to work like a souped-up search, because once enabled, it will allow Copilot to help you troubleshoot settings, organize tasks, and explain what's on your desktop through Copilot Vision, as you may well know. And this looks like Microsoft is also coming full circle. We're basically going back to Hey Cortana with Hey Copilot. So has Microsoft learned something? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments regarding that. And then there's another side to this equation with Microsoft talking about that the future of Windows is an agentic OS. Now, this is where this gets interesting because an agentic OS supports and coordinates AI agents that can think, plan, and execute tasks on behalf of its users. And the OS basically acts like a platform that provides these AI agents access to apps and services that you use, i.e. search gets access to apps and services that you use. So basically, at the end of the day, to some degree or the other, it can think for itself. So that was the big announcement, guys. So that's why I didn't post a video. A bit of a letdown. But that's the reason I took so long to get back to you. A bit of a disappointment, for want of a better word. But let me know your thoughts down below. Is this a move in the right direction? Would you be using a feature like this or not? Hey, Copilot. Taskbar search with Copilot. Let me know your thoughts down below. And obviously, if I get any more info, I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.